Here we go. Light. Uh, yeah, you're going to want to take some notes. So, everybody see the laser above the clock? Okay. So, right there. Okay. So, does the laser? Why it exists in here. Yes, it does. Oh, there it is. You see that on the video? You see it? Well, just know there's a laser going through here. Okay. Why can you see it now when I... when I? Okay. There's something to reflect off of. Okay. In order for you to see something, an object needs to either be a source of light the light bulb, the sun, or there's light being produced by a source that's reflecting off of an object in your eyes. The reason why you're able to see me is because light is coming from the sun through the window, hitting me, reflecting off of me, and going into your eyes. Get with that? JP. So, like, when you're in a really dark closet, Mm -hmm. It appears that there is no light. Mm -hmm. You can still see some people. Is that because there is some sort of light getting in? Mm -hmm. So, like, if there was a way to make zero light, you would be able to see. Right. So, if you've if you have ever been in a cave and they've turned off all the lights, it's pretty dark. yeah, it doesn't matter how like long you sit there and try to like adjust your eyes. You can feel the warmth of your hand, but you'll never see it. Unless you're like E.T. You're like, well, oh, ooh, that could be a... Do you guys know who E.T. is? He's yeah. an alien. He's like a finger. Yeah. It's a finger. No, I, well, me too, but that was like my childhood, not your childhood. Like, unless your parents are like, this is a classic, you got to watch it. Yes. All right, get to that. So, in space, so at night, when you look up in the night sky, it looks dark. Except for like for the stars and the moon. Is there sunlight out there? So, why does it look black? Nothing to reflect off of. You stick a moon out there, all of a sudden, you can see it. Good at that? Okay. All right. So, your eyes, here's some... Here's anatomy of your eyes. You've got on the back of your eyeball, you have receptors, cones, and rods. Okay? Your, your rods pick up light intensity. Okay? So, and then your cones pick up color. If you didn't have any cones, you would see like a black and white movie. 
Um, that would be like really colorblind. Yes. Like crazy. We'll talk about colorblindness here in a second. Um, so you've got three different types of cones. You've got your red, green, and your blue. Okay. Now, how these are arranged in your eyes, um, the cones are concentrated more in the center part of your eye, back of your eye, and the rods are more on the outside. How this is um, demonstrated, or like what's the consequence of that, is when you look at something straight on, you can identify color really well. But looking at something in a peripheral view, your color identification is pretty pathetic. Like try that as you walk down the hall or just right now, like mm, I think they're wearing a yellow shirt. Oh, <laughs> that's purple. Like not even close. Like the consequence of your rods being on the outside um, is you have really their higher sensitivity in your peripheral. If you ever go stargazing and you're trying to look at some stars that are pretty faint. If you don't look right at them, but you look off and use your peripheral view, you'll be able to see them better. Good with that. Okay. So the primary colors of light as we perceive them are red, green, and blue because our rods in our, sorry, our cones in our eyes red, green, and blue. These are the, these are the three things that are firing off. Like the, the frequencies cause these to fire off to give us different colors. So like whenever we rub our eyes really hard or something like that, why do we see like all the colors in the fireworks, I guess? You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> totally guessing. I'm going to guess, even though I probably shouldn't. Um, Mr. Powell always gets on like, stop teaching them stupid stuff you don't know about. My guess is when you push on it, it like sends signal, like it pressures and sends a signal. Yeah, right? I mean, it makes sense to me, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's right. <laughs> So know that I came with a smiley disclaimer of my knowledge of biology. Um, so red, green, and blue are our primary colors based upon the rods, how, we're, our, how our eyes are designed. Okay. So this brings up the question about color blindness. Okay. Hopefully you're able to see numbers in all five circles. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So recognize also that color blindness is it's not an on or off. It's a, it, there's a spectrum. Like some people are weaker than others, but it's not like an on or off type thing. Okay. Now, I'm oh, sorry, Rachel. This is not very appropriately situated. Is that better? All right. So recognize this. These are extreme cases. Okay. So this is what you would see like a full color spectrum. People that have red green color blindness means their red or uh, green rods aren't working. This, this spectrum and this spectrum would look the same. Like this spectrum would look like that. They can see yellow really well. They can see some shades of blue. Um, this is more popular, uh, especially in guys like the mom carries the recessive trait um yeah these two are the same these look the same 
This is more common. This, where your blue uh, cones don't work, that's more rare. Okay. So you can take a little color blindness test. If this looks the same thing as this, you're colorblind. You have some, you have some, so like they, red, this is, this is red, green, red, green color blindness. So this and this, people who are red, green colorblind see this where they should be seeing this. So you can self-diagnose yourself. Good. Right. You're looking at. You're trying to find. You're trying to find on this side. This is the, they don't exist on this side. Good there? Right here. Right there. Okay. All right. I don't like that it's not the same. Like, 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 and plus blue. Oh, sorry. Plus blue. There he goes. Gives you magenta. Magenta. I love that color. I like liking Okay. Yep, write that down. M A G E N T A. Magenta. Magenta. M A G E N T A. Did you know that I'm not supposed to be able to do that? Yes. Okay. Magenta. Green. Plus blue. Gives you cyan, spelled like with a, like Ryan with a C. Okay. Okay. Now, this next one, this is the least intuitive for me. Um, so, green. Plus red gives you yellow. Okay. This is the way I remember this is like stoplights. Red and green gives you yellow. Good with that. And then all three of them together. Gives you white light. <laughs> Such skeptics. We good? We good? Okay. So. This is the color wheel of light. 
Okay, here's a fun trick. Stare at this and this white dot intently. <laughs> now look at this black dot and blink repeatedly. What colors do you see? Okay. So here's why. Maybe. Um, so when you stare at this intently, your red cones are firing like red, 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 red. But after a while, they get tired like red, red, red. And then when you stare over here, you see white, which fires all three. So it's like blue, green, blue, green, red, blue. And so blue, green gives you what? Cyan. Same thing happens here. Drink, 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 drink. <laughs> then all three are fired. Red, blue, green. Red, blue, green. And so red, blue gives you? Magenta. Magenta. Oh, yeah. Sorry. All right. You know what the colors are going to be. See if you can figure out why. Good job. Can't. Seven. Or you're colorblind. So you, you stare here, and then you go over here. <laughs> Easy. Okay. Good. All right. Now we're going to switch gears, and we're going to talk about filters which are different than adding colors here originally we had three sources of light adding colors together this filters are more or less subtraction like we are we start with white light You guys remember these? Get it? There it is. There it is. Yeah, buddy. Okay. So, what this is doing, the white light is getting through here. Okay. If I take a red filter paper, and I'm put it on here. Okay. What what's doing is white light's getting through until it goes through the red filter paper. Red is allowed to pass through, but it filters out, it blocks out blue and green. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. So it filters out red and blue. Sorry, red, filters out blue and green and allows red to get through. And so we see red. If I had a yellow filter paper, okay. The the quick answer is, oh, let, yellow is allowed to get through. Yes, but let's think about the primary colors. What primary colors are being you know, red and green get through? Blue is filtered out. Okay. 
Now, we're going to start overlapping filters. If you have red and yellow, okay, what they, the color that will be produced is the color they both allow to pass through. What do they both have in common? Okay, ready? Red. Yes. Not orange, red. Um, I would explain it not so much as overpowering, but that they both allow red to pass through. Okay. Now, what would happen if you had a red filter and a magenta filter? Still red. Okay, good with that. All right, what about red and green? Yeah. <laughs> Italy or Mexico? <laughs> I knew it was wrong when I said it. Mm. <laughs> okay. What are they, listen, what are they both allowed to pass through? Okay. Here's the difference. Ready? This are two light sources adding together, giving you yellow. Okay, we're adding light. Here, we're subtracting. This starts white. We block out red and blue. Only allows green to get through. Red blocks out green and blue only allows red to get through. They don't have anything in common, so nothing gets through. Do you see the difference? They're opposite functions. This is additive, this is more subtractive. It would be, it would be that. Because nothing gets through. No, there's no nothing to start with. JP. So, uh, sure, we can do green and magenta. Green and magenta, what do you think happens? Okay. Which is the same thing as red and cyan. Get, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Cyan allows blue and green to get through. And red, and blocks out red. Cyan, sorry, red allows red to get through and blocks out blue and green. Okay. What about yellow and cyan? Green. Green. Were they both allowed to pass through? Green. Okay. Good with that. Cyan. Good with that. Okay. About yellow and magenta. They both allow red. Okay. Now, you might be like, uh, oh, that's orange. No, it's red. 
it just looks red in comparison to the magenta. But if you walked in here and saw that, you're like, oh, that's red. Okay. Next, cyan and magenta. Yes. Correct answer is blue. It looks purple. It's blue. It's dark. It's it's blue. Okay. Okay, what about all three? Filters, red, sorry, yellow, magenta, and cyan. What? I got it from blue. Dark blue, but blue. Okay, ready? Black. Black Absence of them. Okay. Okay, of filters, but not of white. Okay, listen. Cyan allowed blue and green to get through, blocked out red. Magenta allowed blue and red to get through, blocked out green. So now you just have blue coming through. Yellow allows red and green to get through, blocks out blue. There's nothing that they all three allow to get through. So you get black because nothing gets through. Good with that? Okay. Now, connecting this with paint, pigments. Pigments and paint have a very similar relationship with filters. We just use different verbs. Okay. Where filters, what we say was like, what what does the filter allow to pass through? We say, what color does paint reflect? Where a filter blocks out, paint, we say, absorbs. So something that is red reflects red absorbs green and blue. You okay with that? Something that is yellow, like the chemical shower, reflects what? Primary colors. Green and red. Green and red and absorbs what? Blue. When someone wears a white t-shirt, what colors is it reflecting? All of them. And it absorbs what? Nothing. If you're wearing a black t-shirt, it reflects what? Nothing. Absorbs what? Everything. Does it make sense why a black t-shirt on a sunny day is hotter than a white t-shirt? Okay. Now. Let's say we have magenta paint. What color, what primary colors does magenta reflect? Red and blue. What about cyan paint? What does it reflect? Blue and green. What colors does cyan paint absorb? Red. Okay. If we mix magenta and cyan, they're going to reflect the color that they both reflect. What, are, what do they have in common in terms of what they reflect? Blue. If you mix magenta paint and cyan paint, you get blue. What about mixing magenta paint 
and yellow paint. Think, don't say it out loud. Think. Now say it out loud. Correct answer is red. Oh. Okay. And what about cyan and yellow? Cyan and yellow both reflect green. So you get green paint. Ready for this one? I'm ready. I'm so ready. The primary colors of light are red, green, and blue. Secondary colors of light are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Turns out that the primary colors of paint are not red, yellow, and blue. They are, in reality, magenta, yellow, and cyan. Are you saying Miss Shepard lied to me in elementary school? My art teacher in elementary school. <laughs> I don't know who your art teacher was. Like, maybe not intentionally. Like, I'll tell you here in a second. Okay. Now, you might be saying, Miss Smiley, she taught art. And you only teach physics. Like, what gives you the right to say she's a liar and I'm not? Okay, so if you think of a colored printer, and you just loaded the ink cartridge and you do a color, color test print, kind of like align the, the ink cartridges, what colors come out? Red, yellow, and blue? Oh, they're really? Red. That kind of looks mm, somewhat pinkish, right? Kind of like mm, maybe magenta? <laughs> Yellow, we're totally fine. We're, we both agree with yellow. Blue, that is definitely a blue. Yeah, it is kind of like a light blue, kind of like cyan. <laughs> if you go to any type of print factory, like magazine printing or like screen printing or newspaper, whatever, you're going to have four colors of ink. You're going to have black. Magenta, yellow, cyan. Okay. Those are your primary colors of paint. Not red, not red, yellow, and blue. Now, how do you get orange or how do you get any other like variation of these colors? You just make a different ratio, so more yellow than magenta to get an orange. Good with that? I don't know. That's a great question. <laughs> you just don't print anything. It's like that's paper. So. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know how why I got started that way. I don't know. I mean, I I've, I haven't had an argument with an art teacher yet. That'd be that'd be good. That'd be a fun dialogue. Well, they don't know why it's like that. They just know that it is. Well, probably because they're going to have lights. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All right. So. Um, yeah. Okay, here come the lights. All right, so 
let's pretend that I could um, make all the lights in the room red lights. Okay, so the only source of light would be red. The only frequency of light would be red. Okay. I could do that by putting filter paper over each of the lights. That would be one way I could make that happen instead of replacing all light bulbs. Or I could give you all red tinted sunglasses, but I'm too cheap for that. So, they only, they're mixed. No one comes as just red. Turn the lights and the shades. Oh, yeah, those are yeah. cool. Oh, I'm in the video. <laughs> oh, dear. Didn't see that coming, did you? All right. All right, so. <laughs> If you look around the room, oh, that's so good. If you look around the room, okay, this is what would look like if you only had red light coming through. Okay, now if you look at something that is red, it looks red. This looks red. Okay, because red light's coming through and it goes through and it, it's able to pass through your filter. Okay, if you look at something green like the exit sign, look at that. Black. I'm sorry, that doesn't. Blue. Won't like everything else, like the red will be so tired. Yeah, for, for a little bit. Okay. Now, um, if you look at something blue, should it look black? What? We're gonna we're gonna have a fun conversation with this one. Look at look at the shower. You say yellow. I say red. What? Why are you wrong? Yeah, you're about to be proved wrong. Rod this. That's orange. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Remember this conversation, this argument? This is this is the dumbest argument. Yes. Here, let me show you. Let, let, listen, this is. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, check this out. Ready? You can take your you can red, take your red filter paper off down. This square. And this square, nope, sorry, this square are identical colors. Right now. Right now. Straight up. Right now. These these have these are identical. You say you say prove it. And I'm like, you got it. Here it comes. Ready? So this is just Microsoft Paint. Super cheap. Nothing tricky. Microsoft Paint, or like a program, you didn't change the color. Yeah, you're cheating. Here we go. Ready? Look at that. And 
Okay. Here, no, no, no. <laughs> Here, here's, here's what I want you to walk away with this. You see color based upon what you're comparing it to. The reason why that shower looks yellow to you is because you're looking at everything else in comparison. But if you saw that color compared to white, you would say, huh, that's kind of a reddish. What? I can't just drag that over there. Okay. <laughs> All right, now it's it's harder than you think, but just watch, because here we go. Ready? It's hard because you have to look at this white without without the filter, and look at this with the filter. That's what I'm saying. That's that's what that's what's hard. It is kind of hard. It is red, bro. It is red. If you just took a color sample of that and held it up to white, you'd be like, that's red. The dress is blue and gold. It doesn't matter. Listen, people. It doesn't. What's the color of this? What's the color? What's the color of that? Nope. Ah. I don't know. I haven't seen it in white light. That's the whole point. I don't know what color it is. I don't know what it is in white light. It was in shade. Okay, right there, that color in white light is brown. Okay, but you said it was orange. It was orange. You swear it was orange. Look at that. It's orange. You can't tell me it's not orange. Like It's not orange. It's brown. Because we don't know what this would look like in white light. Because then it wouldn't be an argument. It'd be a it wouldn't get the publicity. My guess is it's white. I think in the sunlight, I think in the sunlight, it'll be a white and gold dress. It is. <laughs> okay. It doesn't matter what you see. Like, what does that? Are those the same Same color. He, here's even better. This one you could kind of get, but this one, this is crazy. A and B are the same shade of gray. Ready? This rectangle, this inside rectangle, is a uniform color. The background, the background is shaded, but this is a uniform color. Not that tool. I want that tool. You, Okay. Here, like, oh, uh, I'm fine. Here, here's what you see. I mean, the color of the of this is like a blue compared to this white. But that's in the shadow. You go get the dress and you put it in a white light and you're like, but then it's not, then there's no story. Like it ceases to become. It's in, it's in a shadow. Here we go. Ready?
what? I don't know. No, that's, that's just a transition. Yeah. That's a transition. Yeah. It's a very slow yeah. fade that you just go boom. That's yeah, the you right time. Yeah, that's not real. Okay, so <laughs> bring it to the dress. Making this connected to the dress. Obviously, this is supposed to be a black and white checkered board pattern. Okay, making a distinction. But when it's in the shadow, this color happens to be the same as this color. So you take the dress in the shadow and it becomes a different color relative to white. That's all. No. This is just, there's a shadow cast on here, which changes the, okay, go to that. All right, if you pass up your 